Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In the last video, you saw stack ensembling option with scikit-learn. Now, in continuation with that, you are going to see pass-through option with the same function of stack ensembling, that is stacking classifier, or it may be stacking regressor also. Let's see that. As you see here, the process begins with trend test bit as usual, with the recited models in the stack ensemble. We are going to take the same example as the earlier video. Now we saw that with the predictions in place, we concatenate them to form a data frame, and we had called that data frame as XTRN thread. Now the change over here can be that instead of only including the predicted columns, we include the original features also. So whatever will be the original features, say suppose the original features are P features. Now our XTRN thread will compose of not just three columns, but P plus three columns. The other process will be as usual. So this time we are going to fit the final predictor or final estimator not on just three predictions but also three predictions plus the original features. Similar thing has to be done with the test set also. Let's see that. Now with the test set instead of including only the predictions we are also going to include this time the test set features to, to make our final predictor compatible. So our final estimator now which we had built on all the features now will be utilized only. With this pass through option it is often seen that the performance of the stack ensembler is better. Let's see now the changes in the Python code for that. There is an option called pass through in the function of stack ensemblers. Let's see that. Here is the code from the earlier video. The explanation of which was already given in the earlier video. If you haven't watched the earlier video, the link has been provided in the description box. Now, as you can see, the accuracy and the log loss with the earlier ones were 0.94 and 0.59 respectively. For the sake of comparison, let's track that. So here now in my code, I'm going to make one change that I'm going to include the option pass through is equal to true. Now let's understand what is this pass through option telling us from the documentation. From the documentation it appears that the pass through option seems to be false by default. For pass through the explanation has been given by way that when it is false only the predictions of estimators will be used as the training data for the final estimator when it is true. Final estimator is trained on the predictions as well as on the original training data that is in our context extreme. So let's make a change by setting pass through to true instead of false as it is by default and let's rerun the whole code. Here comes the evaluation matrix. And as you see over here, the accuracy also has been improved as well as log loss also has been decreased, which is desirable. You will often find this improvement in the matrix with the use of pass through option, but that's not guaranteed every time. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do, do click the like button. And for more videos from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.